Hello, this is George Bryce from Hurl RET. Today we're going to talk about the text tool and the ways to use it and alter it. So we're going to start out by doing a basic, a basic text. We're going to put it right on the main button. Now your options on what you can do, obviously you can change the size <laughs> using that center piece right there. Um, yeah, right there. Well, that's moving it, but anyway, um, you can change the size through the f up here. But anyway, that's to alter the orientation or rotate it. Um, but let's start with something simple. Let's say, I don't know, let's put maybe the word fish. Let's put fish there. Okay, so we're going to put fish here. Let's make it look nice at least. Nah. Um, Hold on, I'm just going to pick a random one. No, no, not that one. That will not lead to anything. <laughs> um, okay, that works. That works. Now, height, let's go 20. There we go. Okay, so we now have text right there. Now, if I actually wanted to select the text, I could go up and I can extrude the text. Isn't that cool? So I can extrude the text and then make it a solid. Once it, there we go. I was about to say, we just have to get this to realize that it's being extruded. And now each letter becomes its own object. Okay, so other than that, we can put the text on top of a actual surface or object that we've already made. exact same thing with extrude. Once you extrude the text, you can actually do a lot more with it and treat it as if it was just another 3D object you made. 